Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you my favorite video editor software to use for 2019. To get started, click the link in the description box below to visit the website video-editor-software.com. Click through and select download for Windows or Mac and click through again to download. Run the installer and follow the on-screen instructions. All right, here's the software. To get started, click create project in full feature mode. Then you can either import your videos or click the record option to record directly from your computer webcam. We'll import a video, click add media files and select the video file or files you wish to edit. Once you import a video, you can preview it on the right panel. The imported video will appear on the timeline below. You can perform simple edits to the video with the horizontal bar above the timeline. These include split, rotate, crop, color adjustments, transition wizard, and record voiceover. You can split and trim the video into different parts by selecting a point on the timeline and clicking the scissor button. Then select the part of the clip you don't want and press delete. To rotate, just click the rotate button to choose the orientation you prefer. You can also use the crop feature by clicking the crop button. Use the guide box on the preview window to show or hide parts of the video. And you can also move the scroll bar left and right to change the angle. Should you need to adjust colors, just click this button and you have different auto adjustments that you can use. There's auto saturation, auto contrast, magic enhance, and auto white balance. And there are manual adjustments available as well for the more advanced users. Here, you can adjust brightness, contrast, saturation, highlights, gamma, shadows, hue, temperature, and tint. In the Clip Properties section, you can increase the video speed Decrease the video speed or reverse the action. On the left vertical bar is the import button and then filters, transitions, titles, pan and zoom, stickers, callouts, animation, highlight and conceal, chroma key, and stabilization. This might seem like a lot for right now, but they're all really easy to use. Click the import button and you'll see that aside from adding a video file to your project, you also have the option to add sounds, music, sample video, and backgrounds. To add sounds, click one, and once it's downloaded, just drag it to the timeline, and you can even adjust the volume. You can add as many as you want to give more life to your video, and you can do the same for the background music by clicking here. For the sample video and backgrounds, simply select one and drag it to the video timeline. You can use both options for intros, endings, and even transitions. Now we're going to click on the filters button to apply a filter to your video. There are tons of different filters to choose from. You can select a category here, and then choose a specific filter you want to use, and then drag it to the video clip. With the Transitions option, you can choose the desired transition to switch from one scene to the next. Simply click the button, select a category, and then choose a transition you like, and drag it between the clips. For example, let's choose this one and apply it. You'll see there's now a smooth transition between the clips rather than a sudden cut. Now, to modify the transition, just double click it, make changes, and click OK. Give your video a title or credit screen with ease by clicking the Titles button. Just like before, choose a category and a title you want and drag it to the timeline. Double click the text selection to type in your text. To pan and zoom, click the button and decide whether you wish to zoom in, zoom out, 
or pan left to right. When done, click Add. These are just a few simple, easy to use features. There are so many more you'll discover once you begin using the software. To export your video, click the Export button on the bottom right. You can choose the format you want to use from the drop down menu, or you can choose a format for TV, Apple device, Android device, and others. You can upload it directly to YouTube by signing into your account. Also, select the quality. The higher you go, the larger the file size. When ready, click Start. Remember, you'll be able to create a trial copy but to export a full version, you will need to purchase and register the software. So that's it. If you want to edit a video the easy way, try my favorite video editing software. You can download it by clicking the link in the description box below to visit video-editor-software.com and create your own custom video in minutes. And before you go, please don't forget to like this video, leave your comments or any questions below, and to subscribe to my channel for more video editing tutorials. Good luck.